I'm Andrew Jones. Uh, I'm responsible for the designs of all the speakers for ELAC Americas, and we're here at Cedia uh, to show you some new ideas we've got for products and technologies, introducing some in-wall and in-ceiling speakers. And we're doing this as a supplement to all of the box speakers we've been producing because we always get asked in a multi-channel system, what do you have for surround speakers? And we just point them to one of the smaller box speakers and they go, no, 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 no. I mean, I, I don't want to put box speakers at the rear, I want in-walls and in-ceilings. What have you got? And we haven't had a solution up until now. Um, and so the second thing is, well, what would you recommend? And I go, you want me to recommend my competitors? <laughs> so um, we decided we'll fix that. So we took the most popular of our box speakers, which is the in the debut series, the entry level series, which is the B6, six inch Xiaomi fiber buffer and a one inch soft dome tweeter, and we converted it into an in wall speaker. So this is it, and uh, its intent is to match the sound characteristics we've got for the box speakers, but in, in wall product. And we've designed the molding in such a way that uh, we can use one molding for a number of different speakers, which includes doing uh, a version of our Unify, our step-up speaker, which incorporates the concentric driver. Uh, this, in production, can be replaced by the concentric driver and convert it into a Unify in one speaker. And then we add to that with in-ceiling uh, versions of the new speaker, which are up there. But while we're here, let me show you something I think is exciting and unique and I'm very proud of. And that's our in-wall subwoofer, which is down here. We have the 10-inch in-wall driver and it uses the motor structure actually from our 12-inch uh, subwoofer. Very powerful motor structure, capable of a lot of output. But the perennial problem we face with in-wall speakers is what performance do we get once we put the drive unit in a wall? Because we know that when I design a regular subwoofer in a cabinet, I'm defining the operating conditions of the driver. It's a drive unit in a cabinet, and I design it for a particular response. Unfortunately, if I take that drive unit out of that box and put it into the wall, I don't know how much cabinet volume I've got in the wall. So the response of that speaker is an unknown. Every home is different. The fire, it might have fire breaks, it might not. So what is the response of the subwoofer? It's not what I've designed it to be. How do we fix that? And it occurred to me in the development that I could use a technique that I routinely use when I develop loudspeakers of trying to work out what is the low frequency performance. There's a technique uh, in the physics of how speakers work that if I measure the impedance curve of the speaker and fit what's called an equivalent circuit model, from that one impedance measure, I can tell you what the frequency response of that speaker is. And if I then actually measure it with a calibrated microphone, I'll be within a half a dB. So since our amplifier continually monitors the current being delivered to the subwoofer, because we do that to calculate instantaneous power, make sure we're safely operating the amplifier and the speaker, I now have a technique that will tell me from measuring the impedance what that speaker is actually doing acoustically. It's really cool. And so I have an app that runs on the amplifier uh, driven over a Bluetooth uh, connection to the phone, which will then measure from that impedance curve what the speaker is doing and correct it back to my design response. And even cooler feature is, on the app, it will spit out and it will tell you, you have 39 litres of wall volume behind that subwoofer, or 54, or whatever it turns out to be. You can actually read off how much volume you've got that that driver is operating. So that's our new 
integrated amplifier slash uh, sulfur combination. And that will sell for a thousand dollars. The final amplifier one for only 10 inch sulfur. So to add to the uh, in-wall in ceiling combinations, we have a distributed audio in ceiling speaker. So it's a regular down firing drivers. We also have a dedicated home theatre version where the drivers are angled correctly to face towards the listener in a home theatre situation. And we have an in-wall um, centre channel version. In addition, we released a music server that runs Moon Lab software to give just the best experience for discovering your music in any of the available music servers. We've turned that into a CI version by building it into a rack method and adding in four stereo zones of amplification. So now we've got a perfect complement to be able to room a runner multi-room capability with our Discovery Music server.